Medicare, Medicaid, Hawkeye, Iowa Cares, Obamacare, Terry Care, Hawkeye, Hawkeye 2. As a lifelong Iowan, as a family physician, hospice medical director, and geriatrician, as a father of two physicians who will soon be caring for Iowans, I am deeply invested in providing health care in this state. From my experience as helping to create Hawkeye, chairing the Legislative Health Care Coverage Commission, serving on the U.S. Advisory Commission for Health Care Co-ops, being a level three medical home, I believe I can advise regarding the attributes of an effective, sustainable, and fe politically feasible health care program. The current proposals both have flaws. Some Republicans have fought since the inception of Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare to either eliminate or significantly minimize these programs. Instead, they tout as government programs the current Iowa Cares or the proposed Healthy Iowa program, which I refer to as Branstead Care, both of which I find ne neither effective nor sustainable. Branstead Care has many flaws, including the 30-mile rule for primary care, co-pays and deductibles for people who could be homeless, creating a health finance system based on property tax dollars which will never be sustainable and suggesting that these very low-income islands with significant pent-up demand for health care and with no potential for actuarial projections can be assigned to a workable risk contract for ACOs. This last point is most cruel because when the ACOs in inevitably reach the end of the property tax-based monies, they or state government as a proposal will set and enforce caps, thereby rationing health care. The example of Tennessee where due to caps once a year thousands of Tennesseans calling to try to obtain one of the few available Medicaid slots could, could be the lasting legacy. I could go on and on regarding my concerns with this new silo of government. They do not like Medi we do not like, if we do not like Medicaid, let's fix it. Instead of, we should not create a new government program which receives federal Medicaid dollars and will like Medicaid be underfunded neglected and ultimately characterized as another failed government program. In my mind, this will be a Medicaid with caps. Also flawed is the Senate's Medicaid expansion because it's less than ideal in our current political world. I agree with the Republicans that expanding Medicaid to the working population 100 to 138% of FPL is unwise. These employed Iowans who will be working side by side with individuals who have private insurance should have a similar insurance status. Comparisons between these groups regarding benefits and financial responsibilities will be fraught with accurate and inaccurate statements regarding various elements of fairness, further stigmatizing Medicaid and the population it serves. For this reason, Hawkeye was successful in eliminating the stigma of Medicaid for working families. These working individuals will fare better in the insurance world. Dr. Kyle, Carlisle, your time is up. Thank you.